Look at the wrist on the dick, yeah. Look at the wrist on the dress, yeah. Look at the bitch what she shit, yeah. Look at the bitch suck on my dick, yeah. 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 I only come and find them, and then I tell them that we got fun. The stuff that I want to do slash achieve, it just trumps everything, everything else. Like there's no, there's no interaction or anything that's like, um, there's no negative social consequences to me that are important enough that they can waver my sense of purpose. Deaf people. I might be onto something here. We're probably not watching this. Doesn't matter. I've got a feeling about deaf people. I have a hunch about deaf people. You know what I'm talking about. They hear beautiful music all day in their head. <laughs> I wish it was something that nice. It's just a four on the floor beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now you're just callously making fun of them, which... Oh, uh, yeah. Callously making fun of people is so fucked up. All right, listen. <clears throat> so here's my here's my theory. This is actually here's my theory. My theory so is that know what's my theory is that I know that I know for a fact that your name, ha your, when you hear your name repeated in your head, that does something to your personality. It shapes your personality, in one way or another, and it's contextual. It's dependent upon the times. If this was 1985 and your name was Michael Knight, okay, like Knight Rider, you'd probably go around thinking you're the shit. All right, you'd probably walk around, hey, I'm Michael, I'm, yeah, Michael Knight, that's like me, okay? Which is, you know, when my parents told me that I can change my name to anything I wanted to, I said Michael Knight. The name Sam, what does that do to your head? Do we even want to go there? It's just annoying, it sounds annoying to me at this point. Sam, Sam, Samuel! But when you hear, when you hear your name, that, has, that, that, that affects your personality. So if your name is, if your name is Josh, and you hear for 15 years, you know, you're being shaped into an adult and you're seeing people around you, you're seeing foot varsity football players getting pussy and you're watching um, some rich kid getting a cool car in high school and then you're, everybody's applying to colleges and, you know, the smart kids, they're getting into the, the colleges that your parents told, you heard name dropped when you were a kid and you, you know that, oh, pr uh, Dartmouth, that sounds like, a, that's not, Princeton's a good school, I, I wish I could go there. And you're hearing, and all you hear every day is, Josh, Josh, Josh. And you look in the mirror and you go, hey, that's me, Josh. I'm Josh. That's going to that's gonna do something to your noggin. Your neurons. And this is a studied thing. This isn't just something I've made up. Now, whatever that does to your head, I don't know. Okay, I'm not here to bash on people named Josh. But, um, so that's, that's, that's part A of my argument. And then part B is your language, the actual language itself has an effect on, um, on what you say, on, on what you think think about your personality. So if you're from, if you're from one of these fucking parts of the country where they call soda pop, and you're always going around, can I have a pop? Is that? Oh, you have pop? Did you bring the pop? And you're saying shit. You're you're saying shit like that. You'd probably end up with a diaper fetish. Okay, for all I know. What what are some other things they do? In the other these other shithole parts of the country. Kalur. Kalur. Well, you got you got a whole nation of people. You got a whole nation of child molesters over over the uh, over the sea, over the Atlantic Ocean there, because they call color color. Okay, we don't need to get into that. What uh, else do they got? What do they do in America though? They call soda pop. They call Dr Pepper Mr Pib. Well, no, Mr Pib is an entirely different soda. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Mr Pib, Pib is a rebranded Dr Pepper. It's better than Dr Pepper. It doesn't have a medical degree. Pib Pib extra. Yeah, he's a he's a everyman. All right. What are, what are the other things they do? Well, in the UK or America? In America, you know, you go to Cal um, you go to California, you try to hold a conversation with somebody, you probably end up uh, brain damage. What else? Do, what other words though? Like calling soda pop. What else do they have? Uh, I know. I know. In Pennsylvania, instead of saying y'all, they say yins. Have you ever heard of do. this? Yeah. What the fuck? People in like Pennsylvania talk really weird. I think I think that's because they go out um, into the. Uh, they leave, when they leave the house, they go grab a pile, like a pile of earth and dirt and rocks, and they eat that. Um, That's what they do in Pennsylvania. They, there's different words for uh, like, like slut. There's like thought, shown. Uh, 
else? I'm not talking about this this rapper's SoundCloud well, community. That's like most SoundCloud community. That's not SoundCloud. SoundCloud. The online thing. community is SoundCloud.com. <laughs> Shown is not a, a hip SoundCloud thing. I was in. I was sitting at a diner. I was at a diner with Charles, and there was a woman. Flapjacks. There was a woman. Uh, a woman Hot came cakes. in, and she was picking out what she wanted on the menu, and she said, "I think I'll have a burger." That's Woonsocket, Rhode Island. That's not I'm going to have a burger. Oh, yeah, I'll have a burger with fries. A burger. Sounds Australian. No. Anyway. A burger. So, um. I have a burger and a perk. Coffee. I have a co coffee. I love. I, I take a, my perk and my Percocet and my coffee, and then I just drive around. This chair is devastating. I got to swap this out in a minute. Dude, I. <clears throat> That's why I thought that was going to be my chair originally <laughs> because it's like I couldn't picture you sitting there. So anyway, <laughs> the um, ankles are touching the floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a move right now. So if you go to Italy, I remember Nick telling me he got when he got back from Italy, and I've been to Italy myself as well. I'm I was a rich kid. Okay, you never left the country. I've been to Italy. It's okay. But uh, Nick was telling me he went there. And they went to a vineyard, and the the guy had his own wine brand that he made. That was called the wine was called It Is. And this guy comes up to Nick um, while he's eating, and he goes, uh, "This wine, uh, Mr. Rochefort, this wine, we we make it from the finest grapes, and it is the best wine in Italy. And so we simply call it uh, It Is." And uh, Nick, Nick is not one to exaggerate stories or lie about what happened. And he, and he said the whole, the whole point of him telling the story was that the guy said it like exactly that way. Like, it, that's not him exaggerating, making fun of the guy. That's how the guy came out and hit him with the fact that the wine is called It Is. It Is. And, you know, if you're in, if you're in Spain or you're in Italy, they, they roll the... Uh, like, the R's? Yeah, they go... Retteria, resetetia, retia. And these people are all assholes. I don't know if you've ever been to Spain or Italy. <clears throat> the people, the people there are assholes. They're contemptible assholes. And I think that I think that has to do with language. I think that's because the flourishy language. If you say you want to get in a car, if I want if I want to go downstairs, I have to go downstairs. I have to open the door. I have to lock the door. I have to get in a car. And to say that, I go. I'd probably start having insane fucking thoughts. If that's the <laughs> shit that's going through my head every day, I'm thinking, I have to go to the refrigerator and get myself a drink. And I'm going, You'd probably, you'd probably turn into a fucking freak if that's, the, if that's your, what your inner monologue sounds like. Um, so maybe that's why they're all fucking assholes. What do they say in France? I was thinking with the it is wine, I'd call it the itis. Yeah, I'll get a glass itis. of the itis, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you'd be like, can I get a mug of this? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll get a mug <clears throat> of the itis. <laughs> what does French sound like? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I have to close the door, and then I have to empty out the trash, bring it to the dumpster. <laughs> yeah. Fucking idiots. I feel like... Uh, the East Coast accents are really humbling because they're so like low class and trashy sounding. I mean, there's a. I, I, like think, that. I think that's a double edged sword because I think these people are retarded around us. I like that though. Well, I mean, bro. Eh, I don't know because that makes these people are these people are bro, actual she retards. Was, she was fucked up, bro. People who talk like that, they, th they you think you can you think uh, <coughs> hash browns is a full meal. She she you know passed I mean? out in my passenger seat. Yeah, I get I get that it's down to earth, but these are these are people who think that <laughs> that's ha down to earth. Think that hash browns is is uh, you feed your kids with hash browns for the uh, day. Dunkin' Donuts drive through hash browns. Yeah, yeah a total retardation. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> deaf people. Itis. You know, I never thought when I was donating fucking four hundred thousand dollars to a black charity anonymously, and I've never bragged about that, and I never need to put my name on that or anything. But anybody who ever says shit about me being whatever, <clears throat> just know that I've donated more to actual black people, not Black Lives Matter, because Black Lives Matter, the, the money will never get to them. I'm talking about college funds for underprivileged kids. Okay, I've donated I don't know five hundred fifty thousand at this point. Doesn't matter. Um. Because it's anonymous, and I don't need to, 
I don't need to boast about that. But look, <clears throat> I never in my wildest dreams thought that this road of social justice that I live on would take me to the point of um, abusing deaf people. <clears throat> but I think that deaf, I think that sign language is like those other languages. I think that sign language is flourish. It's got flourishes, needless flourishes, embellishments. It's it's like a, it's got a curvature and a sensuality to it that it does not need to have to describe ordinary everyday things. Because you look at these people when they're doing sign language and they're going, they're doing like little, they're basically twerking with their hands. You know what I mean? I think that's cool. I, it's cool for like a YouTube video. It's like tutting. It's cool, yeah, it's cool like tutting, it's cool for a YouTube I, my, like my I don't best know if friend. it's cool to, what it does in your head 24 hours a day, thinking yeah. in, I don't know, doing this shit. But, <clears throat> I feel like there's probably some, like everyone does, that's the equivalent to that. Sure, but it's not, it's, this is something that's automatic all day long, whether you like it or not. Now look, this all started when I heard a story about, um, I heard a story about a deaf guy who was being really rude at a restaurant. Huh. And that's something that I don't personally tolerate is when people are rude to wait staff, and um, I think that, I think that's cl a totally classless uh, thing to be to be rude to a waiter or, or a waitress. Um, yeah, that's definitely classless. And this guy, this deaf guy, told the wait it was a waiter with long hair, and I guess the deaf guy didn't like that the waiter had long hair because it's not hygienic or whatever. So he told him to uh, he told him to use his hair to clean his shoes like a mop, and he said it with such. Like smug, you have to fight and want me to ail. I go like you want to don't want me like that. Like smug attitude. Told him to to wipe his shoes with his his hair like a mop, because he was mad that the waiter had long hair. I guess it's 2020. You can't have long hair as a waiter. Okay. Anyway, that was my first clue. That was my first like hmm, what? Deaf people not cool. <clears throat> then I heard, I talked to a deaf guy who was a um, serial cheater. And I get, um, I get that. I, listen, I get that sometimes you gotta, you gotta cheat, you gotta do your thing. I get that when you're young, you gotta go bust the load out, okay? But there's a way to, there's a way to do that. You ha it has to be because you're at the whim of this like animal instinct, not because you're like you've got this malicious drive to like uh, reel in as many women into your ring of torment as possible, okay? Some people, some people, it's just like you're, you're a fucking animal. You gotta go. <coughs> need it. Ah, uh, ah. Okay. Sometimes you just need it. Whatever. I think that's more. I think that's more innocent than being this like psychological like puppet master and having fucking ten girls on a straw. I'll marry you. I'll marry you. I'll marry you. So I was talking to this deaf guy, and he was like, I tell them I'm going to marry them and that I love them all. <laughs> Like bragging, bragging about how he f not only is cheating, but he has them all like on a you know wrapped around his little finger, and I was like, "What the fuck is this? Is this deaf guy for real? Do I hate deaf people now?" <laughs> and um, the stuff that the stuff he was saying he would say, like I'm just that that gives me chills. That's what I think about when I see deaf people now. Anytime I see some sign language on TV, I think about some like Brett Easton Ellis character, American Psycho manipulator. Going like this, I swear to God, you are my one. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, look into my eye. You are my one and only. I will never. Meanwhile, he's got fucking 12 different chicks that he's back. I will never do betray you or go against you because you are in my heart. Thank you. Okay? I don't know if that's a death thing, though. Well, I don't know if it's not a completely fake story that I made up as well, but <laughs> in the meantime, listen, <laughs> I was getting chills down my spine thinking about this, because this guy was like, we, he, we were having some beers, and he was bragging about his conquest, and he was like, to them, I tell them I'm not going to come, but then I come in time to... <laughs> But then I don't wear, I don't wear a condom because I don't like the way it feels. So I always come and tie them, and then I tell them they have to get plan B. You have to get plan B because you are going to get pregnant and the baby won't be <laughs> deaf. There's no camera here. The baby can't hear. So you have to get plan B. 
I didn't want a condom because I don't like how I feel. <laughs> that's, uh... So, um... That's a lot. So I killed him. All right, that's my deaf guy stand-up routine. <clears throat> what do you have to say, Julian? How are you doing today? I can't understand you. I forgot I need to make eye contact and, lip and move uh, my lips. That's better. Hmm. My best friend's, like, grown up, his mom is deaf, and... Dox him! We used to, we used to just, like, scream at her <laughs> while she was turned away. We just go, fuck you! And, like, scream. Like, literally, like, this close to her, like, at the back of her head and shit. Why? Because <laughs> we just thought it was funny. Was so like, that's your story, that when you were a kid, you used to scream, fuck you, at your friend's mom? Me, yeah, we, he, he put me on to doing it. That is fucking crazy. Because she didn't... Like, no. She was really nice. Oh, was she like deaf? Her. Yeah. Whoa. That's what I said. She You're was horrible. Dead. Why? No, I was nicer in real life. It was just funny that you could just do... Like, I would never what other opportunity would you... Could I get to just scream at somebody? That was so crazy. <laughs> that was like a legend. Just screaming, fuck you at the back of a deaf person's head. <laughs> that was really funny. He would be like, be like, we're out of fucking turkey, mom. You're you fucking bitch. <laughs> it's not a lot. That was horrible. First of all, second of all, I want to do that in public, <laughs> at a Starbucks or yeah. something. <laughs> oh, don't person. mind her. She's a fucking dumb whore. Screaming, screaming, fuck you, and everyone else can hear you, but the deaf yeah, guy can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> or like muttering, like she like goes to pay for something, you're at like a checkout thing, and you're like, she's. She's a fucking worst. <laughs> I hate her. Yeah, oh, that's my man. deaf person story. That's pretty good. All right, let's check out a uh, white kid rapping like Lil Baby. Yeah, 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 we paid for that bitch every day. Don't know what to say, but you know I ain't gay, cause I fuck that pussy, a, And you know she is my slave, cause I fuck that pussy every day. I put her on my leash, she a pussy ass bitch, and I'll knock her out completely. Hey, I'm just kidding, the shit is not fucking ridden, wanna go in like it's ridden. Fucking on a mitten, a softer than a kid. He's fucking on a mitten. You never fucked a mitten? Yeah. Is it a thumb hole? Mm -hmm. Fits. 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 Then I'll kill some gangsters and then I'll smoke a blunt. And now I feel. Is what my music in 2016 sounded like? And now I had to get cash. So I smoke this gas. Now nah, I'm long gone, long toast. Fuck that bitch and then I boast. Fuck that bitch up on the coast. My Miami gotta go boast. Hey, hey, you know who I am. Know who I am. Hey, Peter the Pan, Super the Man. You know Peter the Pan, Super the Man's pretty hard. Yeah, it is. Chicken, gotta poop. Oh, wait, that shit is sus. Fuck that bitch up on a bus. Hey, cause you know, cause she a fucking hoe. She gotta suck that toe. And you know she got AIDS and crabs. Fuck that bitch, she take a dab up on my dick. Hey, you know she slick. You know she stays. We gotta put on Lil V. Matter what she does, as long as it's consensual. I fucking on this bitch, she 18 and resentual. What? Oh, uh, Jesse, that's good. We gotta. Uh, yo, Jesse, look up Lil V freestyle. Alright, go ahead, Jesse. This is a classic. <laughs> Like Look at the restaurant, I dip and I fuck on the bitch and I suck on the tit and she suck on my dick and I eat and I click and I dress and I drip. Yeah, fuck on the bitch in the world. Yeah, then I go dab on a bitch. Yeah, then I go dab on a bitch when I look at the wrist and I fuck on the bitch and I look at the whip and I dab on a bitch. Yeah, then we go water wheel. Yeah, then I go fuck on a bitch. Yeah, then we go water wheel. Look at the wrist when it dip. Yeah, look at the wrist when it drip. Yeah, look at the bitch when she shit. Yeah, look at the bitch suck on my dick. Suck on a dick, yeah. Look at that bitch when I shoot. Fuck on a bitch, yeah, she or you. Pull up on block, then I go shoot. Fuck on a bitch, yeah, she or you. Ay, low V be looking like a palm tree. Low V be feeling like I'm TT. Low V be off of the promethazine. Low V be all the Zen and Zenoe. Yeah, look at me. Look at me flex. 
Look at me pull up on your block, Smith and West. Look at me whip a test, then I get the bitch in my bag. Give me top for some fucking fat. Look at the wrist on the deal. Yeah. Give me the top for some fucking fat. Is that what he said? Then I suck on the tit and I suck on the dick. Yeah. Then I go suck on the clit. Yeah. Then I go fuck on the bitch. Then I go fuck on the bitch. Yeah. Then I go dip and I deal. Look at the wrist on the deal. Yeah. Pull up on block when I hit. Yeah. Pull up on block when I shoot and I fuck on the bitch. Yeah, she a you. Yeah. Hey. Pull up on block when I shoot. Yeah. Pull up on block with a you. Yeah. Pull up on block when I shoot and I fuck on the bitch. Yeah, she a you. Hey. What is he saying? Yes, she a you. <laughs> what does that mean? Are well, you a bitch? Look at the wrist when I dip. Yeah. Look at the wrist when I dip. Yeah. Look at the wrist when I dip, and I fuck with the bitch, and I go out of will. This drugs are drugs are bad. And that fucking debate. I don't even think he's on drugs like that. He has to be. Nah, he's just. This is like 2016. He, this has to, to be on. Up. What's he doing now? I don't know. The um, thing about rap is no matter how cool it gets, no matter how slick the wordplay gets, no matter how complex... There'll never be another Eminem. There'll never be another Eminem, that's correct. And it always, even the slickest, like, Kendrick Lamar raps, to me, you can tell there's, there's this under... it. You can, you can visualize what it's based on, which is, like, Cool Mo D. Like you can, uh, it's it's like it's like Kendrick Lamar's like most complex, intricate, beautiful verse or whatever, is always like one or two steps away from like uh, said it started out in the park, we could do it, be bopping the square and it run down the street and uh, everywhere and the hip, uh, the beats the beats were rocking and they don't come knocking and we do it and do it a beat, like what? that's all all rap is like based on that like fucking. That's like an extreme Big Daddy Kane. That's a crazy shit. thing to say. It's crazy to say that all rap evolved from like Big Daddy Kane. I get, uh, you think modern rap came from somewhere else? They imagined this. This is yeah. all like it's all it's all continuity. It all traces back to like friends. How many of us have them? You got to be friends. Be so many. That shit. That's where it What's all comes your point from. With that? that it sucks. That it's fa it's founded on shit that sucks. That's an extreme. Yeah, that you're is taking a narrow. A, you're taking it personally. Mindset. Well, it's one, because I, I, it's just not the truth, though. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Now I'm drinking your last Diet Coke. Because you offended me personally. Oh. Well, no, I, I, I mean, you're my boy, so I just, I don't like hearing people say shit like that because that's like, that's like a pointless way to think about it, in my opinion. Now what you hear is not a test. <laughs> now what you hear is beat. not a test. I'm rapping to the beat. Because like you can say the same like what's something you like, you know? Like you, you, you can MMA. Yeah, you can say it came from gay guys having sex. <laughs> okay. Grappling. Like fucking <laughs> Greeks kissing and grappling each other. It's like I don't know, that that it probably isn't true. <laughs> it's not I don't think it is. Yeah. Just because rap uh, or something started as one thing doesn't mean that's like it's like its current uh, state is like a direct descendant of that because that's like just not true. I think it's too it's too easy to um, it's too easy to get caught up in thinking that rap is like a serious art form. I think it definitely is. And uh, rap, rap music has people ascribe my people, mind more than people ascribe seriousness to. Uh, Jay Z still, and they ascribe they they think that like Kendrick Lamar's well yeah I whining mean, that, and I would say that hand feed me that that shit lyrics more, is is an art form it is not that shit's more like derived from like corny eighty shit than like I I I'm talking about you know like <clears throat> more uh, and I think it's too easy shit. it's too easy that fucking what's that guy little um. Lil V. Lil V. Yeah, but that shit's like a that guy's that guy's a retard. That guy's fucked. Yeah. Up. Of course. He would be much. He would be much less no fucked. No I'm sure that guy. I'm sure his no, What I'm saying though, I'm sure. I'm sure his. Um, there's a limit to his. Uh, there's a ceiling to how high he can fly based on genetics, and um, uh, I'm sure he's just naturally retarded. But if it wasn't for rap music, he wouldn't have some. This this ladder of retardation to to climb. That guy should be in church. He should be working. He should be f fucking. He should be a mechanic. He should be in training to do uh, 
uh, HVAC fucking repair. All right, that's where that's where he should be, and he should be uh, he should be afraid. Yeah, he that's where fear, that's he what fear most for his, He should do. fear for his life that if he masturbates, he'll go to hell because that's the kind of thing that, need, that is needed to keep that guy in line societally. And if that's if that's too harsh, take him into the woods and stage a hunting accident. Okay, but he but being being this like fruitcake. Character with this tower of hair. Oh yeah, talking about grabbing clits and sucking dicks. <laughs> Stupid. This is like the decline of um. Th well, this is this is the dumpster like fire that. of humanity. Like, no, it's never, been, it's never. What was that in the eighties? Like and hair metal. Furthermore, this hip hop shit has done damage to black people. If you look up, if you look up videos of black people in the seventies, okay. They were, the family was more intact than it is now. I know there's a multitude of factors, okay? And I know it's white men's fault, which is why I've donated $450,000 to every black charity that exists. The black, black people in the 70s were better off. There's videos you can look up online of little black kids in bow ties coming out of church, coming out of the whatever, going on the school bus, okay? It was, they, they were better off, probably. I haven't looked into it. I wouldn't know. The fucking music, man. This kill it, kill that, shoot his family at the funeral. I blast you. Don't care. That has that has done crazy. That has done damage, I mean, man. I don't and it's not worth it. The trade off, kill it at his funeral versus the art that you get from that. It's not worth it. I'm that's sorry. Like, that's I'm not, sorry. I know it's that's high not art. Where, like, I know it's high art, but it's not worth it. That's not even like what. The kind of rap music I'm talking about is like a boat usually. Sometimes, yeah. if it is, it's like it's more like facetious than that. Like Detroit, I mean, not. Nah, I don't know. I know. I know, say, I know you're not. Yeah, but that Detroit stuff. rap is like kind of like absurdist in, in a way. It's a reality. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you it's fun. Go out there and say, I don't know. Yeah, but like you know what I'm talking about, with like the way Draco raps, he, like dick hanging out in public on a pedophile, like. Like, I don't know. It's, like, more... Like I know the type of stuff you listen to is good. It's innocent. It's lighthearted. I'm not my even saying my it's beef with, my I'm beef just with saying it's not... General. All I'm saying is it's, it's like... And I, I'm saying, like, conceptually, like, diluting, like, a uh, concept into... Oh, it just reminds me of, like, this thing that I don't like. That was just me fucking around. That's just a that's a that's an OCD type thought that I have when I listen to rap music. I know that's not a real argument, um, but the real yeah, my but real I, my real argument is that rap in general is is a destructive force. I guess force, uh, I guess it's why, not worth it. I guess why I'm I I I guess uh, like why that uh, got me riled up is one because people watching this will take you very seriously no matter what like. You know, that's I'm, it's not a, it's not uh, it's not such an important point that I would care if people take that seriously. I, I don't, I don't I care if people think that I'm uh, haunted by the ghosts no, no, of old no. school rappers. I'm saying I'm saying that people will think it's it's cool to just like think shit sucks. For that's a good point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and, that's a good uh, point. I, I mean, there's definitely merit <clears throat> in talking about why, like, talking about stuff that you think sucks, but there's also merit in like. Seeing why shit is cool. No, that's a good point. I don't want to be the guy that's making up reasons to think things suck. Yeah, that, I'll say that's I'll go on saying. record. I'll, I'll go on record. My point. Okay, I love. I like rap. I'm not music. telling you to like it. The either. music. I do like it though. I listen to it. The music you listen to, I enjoy it when I hear it. The music I listen to, I listen to D Block and rap and all this stuff. You know. My point though <clears throat> is that rap music has been a force of destruction. And artistically, on the whole, not talking about the genre that you guys like, but on the whole, artistically, worth uh, brainwashing these people and to think that murdering, murdering your uh, rival at his funeral is cool? Nah, that's not worth it. It's fucking junk. Socially awkward. Subject, socially awkward. Any advice on how to help me with being socially awkward? Like me not keeping eye contact or talking in a low voice and using like all the time. That's the email. Is that did I send that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I do. I I check off all three of those boxes. I wouldn't even say that's really. None of those are really that socially awkward though. I'd say like. Uh, I mean, we don't know what this guy's I, actually I mean, working with. He I might be to, like. I used to have really bad social anxiety. Like I like wouldn't go into stores by myself and shit. That's cool. And because uh, I felt like people would look at me and think I was awkward. Yeah. And then my dad started, like, 
doing really weird, like, awkward shit to people at stores. You'd, like, ask them, like, really personal questions wow. and shit. Wow. And, like, to get you people. to come out of your shell? Uh, I think he just liked doing it, but it also, like, a, a secondary effect of it was that it got me to come out of my shell and, like, mm. not really care. Mm-hmm. And, uh, also, I realized, like, like, I don't really often think about other people being socially awkward unless they're, like, <clears throat> an actual menace. So, like, the odds of people, like, giving shit about... Like, most people will just kind of take you as you are, especially if it's, like, friends, you know what I mean? Mm. Which... You should use as a tool to come out of your shell more. Mm-hmm. Well, I would say that you have to... Uh, have you ever been socially awkward, Sam? Yeah. Really? I feel like... I can picture you being like an extroverted person through your whole life. No, I'm, re- I'm absolutely not an extrovert. I'm a total introvert. I, well, I know and you are be, now. Being extroverted uh, takes a... It, I can do it, but it just, like totally zaps my energy. Yeah. Like, makes I me mean, feel like... like I, 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 I feel like you're, you're pretty good at... Like, you're pretty sociable... Guy, though. Yeah, but when I when I do that shit, it makes me feel like I've been running a marathon or something. That's interesting. Like it takes it out of me if I have to do that for more than like twenty minutes. I know. Um, anytime you you come through somewhere, like uh, when you came through to my house on my birthday, you like sat by the door mm, the whole time. Mm, I thought that was really mm, funny. Mm, mm, <laughs> like you were just lingering by the door, waiting for a moment where you'd be like, "I'm ahead out." <laughs> <laughs> That's my style. Um, I would say if you're socially awkward. You first of all shouldn't you shouldn't care about this too much. You shouldn't let it um, worry you because this this type of thing will fade fade away, or it won't, or it'll become a lifelong debilitating issue. In which case, you really are going to have to do something about it and do something about it now. I don't know which one it's going to be, man. Uh, um, I, I mean, just I I, I think just like uh, put like embracing. The awkwardness, like over, like that's what I did anyway. And like over time, I stopped like feeling awkward, and that like made me more confident and just like being myself. The um, difference is everything. The difference is everything. It cha- and everything's <clears throat> been changed. Okay, well, I, my advice is better. Um, I would say you have to get some self respect. I would say to lift weights. <laughs> I would say to li- I would say to lift weights and turn yourself into a person that you like. Because if you're not making eye contact with people and you're talking in a low voice and using like all the time, uh, that might be because you um, you feel like you're not worthy of these other people. So I would say fix your fix yourself up, get yourself a nice suit like Report of the Week, and uh, start listening to '40s music. Now, fix yourself up and start um, start doing shit that turns you into someone that you like. Um, uh, martial arts, and by martial arts I mean jujitsu or or muay thai. Um, and uh, lifting weights will do that. Um, the other the other thing to do is to become consumed by <coughs> a cause or a purpose. Um, because I've never <laughs> That's been crazy advice to me. I've never felt socially awkward for one moment when thinking about the the uh, ambitious things that I want to do and the stuff that I want to accomplish with media and that's the God's honest truth um, you know if I was uh, if I was trying to go to let me think of how to phrase this I just know that the stuff that I want to do slash achieve it just trumps everything everything else like there's no there's no interaction or anything that's like um there's no negative social consequences to me that are important enough that they can waver my sense of purpose so if i was at a if i was like you know talking to some slut like i do a lot <laughs> hell yeah and she wasn't and she wasn't worshiping my muscles i wouldn't be i would be fine with that i don't care if i was if i was no seriously if i was talking to a girl if i was like talking to a girl and it wasn't going well or i was in some party with people or something like it's just something that it's just like a situation even if the even if the vibes were bad or if I was like, you know, not clicking with people, it just wouldn't matter to me. This is something that doesn't that shouldn't matter to you. You got to get to a position where this doesn't matter to you. And then once a lot of these things, a lot of these problems like getting girls or like fucking um getting girls. 
It's easy. A lot of these problems, once they stop mattering to you, that's actually when it will start to not be a problem. I like I like how you said your advice is better, but that's like literally what I said. My advice is more long winded, it's more it detailed. Is more Listen, winded, the difference is everything. The difference is everything. That's true. But yeah. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of like <clears throat> that that advice I've heard that before and that's annoying because it's like you know well, all you have to do is not care. But it's true though. It's it is kind of true. That once you once you're in a position where these things don't matter, that's when they will start to click it's, and become, it's an art form, not giving a fuck. Being um, ignorant. One big thing is like you got to prioritize what you care about because when you're when you're 15, 16, 17, you're like a maggot as a man, you know what I mean? You're like a you're subhuman. That's how that's what I felt like in high school. I felt like I I didn't and I didn't feel like I hated my, hated myself or something. I just knew that my status was like subhuman. Yeah. Like I couldn't I couldn't go out and like get can I have two thousand dollars? Like I couldn't go out and do something in the world. You know what I meant? You know what I mean? You know what I meant? I like that. It felt, <laughs> it felt safe. I liked I liked it, and I felt I felt uh, you know I didn't feel bad about myself. I felt good about myself, and I had like a good time and everything. But I knew that my like rank was like yeah slave. Yeah, like yeah. no ability. That, like those apps. Physically, bi- yeah, I was a level yeah. one thug. Yeah, 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 yeah physical yeah. bitch, all that shit. And I, I was I was aware of that. Um, I put myself on a pedestal. Same. I thought I was the shit in high school. And then to be never honest. like was challenged, so that's that just carried through to my adulthood. And I never really challenged my status mm-hmm. myself, so I was just. Yeah, true. Even if people would like challenge me and say I was like. Like try to insult my character or something. I'd be like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get rich, and you're gonna do drugs. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, I mean, I I don't mean like um sense of self. I just mean like uh, like knowing the th- the stuff that I'm actually ca- was actually capable of. Yeah. And when you're when you're in that state, and you're like, you know, you can't get girls. You can't make anything cool. You can't. X, Y, and Z. You have to. Um, it feels like a, it feels like a problem that'll never be fixed. Um, it feels like you have like a million problems that'll never never go away. Uh, <clears throat> and what you have to do, you have you just have to focus on the problems that that um, matter long term. De- developing your um, figuring out what it is that you want to do, and then working working towards that. Like career wise, that's like. F- Far more important than like uh, the outfit, the the whack clothing that your mom makes you wear, or the fo- the uh, <clears throat> you know the fact that um, when you talk to people, they uh, they get icky vibes from you. You know, you have to, you really have to focus on. The- <laughs> I hope this dude's like thirty. <laughs> If he's, if he's 30, it's all I like over. how this is the longest answer we've had, and it's like three sentences that we're responding to. 